everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Jessica of the blog Miss More Style. And here on YouTube, I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if you're interested in any of those topics, you like to look chic and live your best life without breaking the bank, then this is the channel that you want to subscribe to because I've got you, girl. Hit that red subscribe button right down below. And go ahead and while you're down there, ding that bell. That just sends you a little notification every time I upload a new video. Today, we are doing my buy and trend report video. So, so today we're going to talk all about fall 2021 fashion trends that came down the runways. And we're going to break down all the trends so that as you start shopping for your fall wardrobe and start wanting to buy some pieces to incorporate into your fall wardrobe, you know, the trends and you've got them in the back of your mind. And that way you can look for them when you are out shopping or when you're browsing online. Make sure that you also wait till the end because I'm going to go hunt into my own wardrobe and find these trends and try to style the trends of this coming up fall and winter with pieces that I already own. And hopefully that will inspire you to go shop your closet and do the same thing. Sort of leading into that point, I'm really, really excited. One thing that I really love is that a lot of these trends are not actually like new trends. They're just trends that are carrying over from past seasons, which is fantastic. You probably already have a lot of these trends sitting in your closet. It's just a matter of revamping them and styling them in like a newer way to make them feel fresh and fun. Make sure that you also subscribe because today we're going to be talking about fall 2021 trends but in an upcoming video i'm going to be talking about fall 2021 color trends and how you can wear these colors different color combinations that look good with the colors of the fall season so if you're interested in that video definitely leave me a comment down below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because that one will be coming in the coming weeks there's a lot to get through here i've got all my notes here on my ipad so make sure to grab yourself a cup of coffee a glass of wine a snack settle in and let's talk 2021 fall winter fashion trends number one that i want to talk about right at the top is sequins sequins is just like you're never not going to see sequins on the runways. They're just always something that will be shown, especially in evening wear. But over the last couple seasons and years, I've been seeing sequins styled and used in more casual type pieces. So it's sort of like having sequins on for daytime. I think this is something I also talked about in my spring and summer trends video because that was also a trend then. It's continuing into the fall months. I couldn't be happier about this because I love sequins so much. I love sparkle. I love glitz. I love glam. And so I've always actually really loved taking my like sequin pieces that maybe I bought to wear to like a party or something and figuring out ways to wear them more casually for more casual situations. And I always think that that's such a fun juxtaposition of like super sparkly stuff with paired with things like sneakers or casual outerwear or casual tops to sort of tone down the party feeling of the sequins and make it feel a little bit more every day. So there's sequins basically on any type of piece you could think of like sequin jackets, like this beautiful one from Armani fun. This is so fun. It's just like, so like, yeah, like this fun pattern with these sequins, very etro. I love like some of these pieces are just so creative like this one from D square this almost reminds me of like an ice skating dress just so so stunning and look at how it's paired with the like casual flannel shirt and the like distressed blue jeans like totally like mixing something very fancy and whimsical with really really casual clothing items of course sequins are always going to have like an air of dressiness so there's going to be like evening wear options but I absolutely love these pants these are amazing and they've got this like sort of fringe situation going on on the bottom too, which we'll talk about later. It doesn't even have to be like full on sequins, like this ensemble from Chanel, you can kind of see um, the sequins kind of worked into the pattern of that fabric just to give it like a little bit of colorful, sparkly embellishment. That is so freaking cool. Even something like this sweater. I mean, it's a casual outfit, but the sweater is all these different colored sequins, very bright and vibrant with the purpley pink washed jeans. Ugh. I freaking loved this look from Givenchy. Like this was probably one of my favorite looks that I saw. These huge like pillette style uh, kind of sequins that kind of like get longer in length and then end in all this fun like fringe at the bottom. Like, wow, that is absolutely show stopping. Also saw like a fair amount of sequin jackets like this one from Prada. Love the like deep, beautiful blue hue of that. That's one of the colors of the year. So make sure that you subscribe so you can check out my fall 2021 colors video. And this is like a really fun shiny sequin skirt but it's paired with this sweater which is kind of like kitschy looking and like uh fair isle i guess is what you would call that it's like definitely a more casual type of sweater so you can see how when you juxtapose the sequins with something that's traditionally just very laid back it can really work together the next trend that i sort of want to talk about is saturated color hues now we're going to get into the specific colors in the next part of this in the part two of this sort of series i guess but what i have to say is Last fall, I feel like we saw a lot of neutrals and subdued hues, but this fall, it is all about being bright and bold and almost like monochromatic in the looks. 
One example of this is from the Saatchi show. Like this is a very bright, bold, punchy, pinky color and she's wearing it from basically head to toe. So creating monochromatic looks with one color and sort of sticking to it like, like this suit as well with all yellow is kind of fun way to just go all out on the color. I've also seen like a lot of really fun like color combinations, um, which again is something I'm gonna get into a little bit more in the next video. So I'm not gonna style any outfits from this trend necessarily, but I just wanted to sort of throw in the fact that really bright, bold uh, hues and colors are really, really big this fall. You don't have to be limited to those like typical fall colors you can really go all out and even wear some of like your brightly colored stuff that you might have reserved only for spring or summer into the fall as well the next trend that we have to talk about is tailoring and a sort of like borrow from the boys kind of aesthetic as i like to say so i feel like suits and suiting is just something that's always going to be in style it's going to be relevant in fashion but the the tailoring and the style of the suits kind of changes from season to season whereas maybe like 10 years ago you saw a lot more like fitted suits of course now in the last several years we've seen the move toward more oversized more wide leg more men's wear inspired silhouettes when it comes to suits that is definitely true this fall and so literally pe the designers this year are taking more of like a literal take on menswear like they're not sort of being ironic about it it literally looks like menswear that's sort of tailored a bit to look better on like a female form but like only just a bit because it's a lot of like oversized uh, jackets a lot of wider leg baggier pants so you're seeing kind of like things like this suit from Etro, kind of like the three-piece suit but for women with that vest worn underneath which vests are going to be a huge trend and we will get to that separately but you can see how this is sort of a very like menswear inspired take on a suit for a woman but i really love it of course pinstripes were big last fall they have been sort of still in the mix in the summer pinstripes are still completely relevant so if you got those pinstripe pieces last year you can still keep rocking them i love the the play on it though like this one from off-white is like this metallic silver type of like three-piece suit but it kind of looks like she's got like maybe a blazer or a vest on underneath and then over the top is sort of a thing that some of i've seen some magazines refer to as a suit jacket where it's like the tailoring of a suit or a blazer jacket but it just goes more long line like down to the knees or maybe a little bit lower oh, freaking cool like that fabric is so dope and you can see that the pant legs are more wide leg more flowy i just felt like this suit is just so sophisticated again there's a lot of layering that's going on in this trend she's got like the thinner turtleneck underneath with a button up on top of that and then she's got this beautiful kind of oversized fitting blazer with the more wide leg looser fitting trousers this is so stunning if i worked in a corporate office this would be my move for sure this suit from stella mccartney the first time i saw it, i was just in love i love the check print the oversized blazer and then that turtleneck underneath but i love the fact that the pants are like flares but the tops of the pants are so fitted sort of play sort of play with the proportions of that jacket but then sort of balance it out the flare part is so wide as well that is just it is so cool and oh my god the bag the bags from stella mccartney y'all i want them i want one of those bags so bad they're really loving as well like this more feminine take on the menswear three-piece suit so you've got this one from amy or ami it's in that ultimate gray color which again is a huge color this year she's got the vest on underneath with the suit jacket that everyone's talking about but instead of pants they paired it with a matching pleated midi skirt and oh my god i just think that there's something so perfect about this look it's just like the perfect mix of like menswear to like a feminine piece and i'm obsessed vests are also going to be huge this fall sweater vests have been a big like trend piece over the last couple seasons and i believe also like menswear vests also have been on the runways but i feel like sweater vests are what took off and the menswear vest is what kind of didn't i'm really hoping this year that the menswear vest sticks because i got one off of poshmark last year like because i got really excited about the idea of that trend and i just didn't really see it happening or trickle down into people's like real life outfits so much but i'm really hoping that this year we we do i'm certainly going to actually wear mine this year any kind of vest i think is going to be such a good look this year whether it's a sweater vest whether it's a menswear vest or whether it's like a long line vest or like a sleeveless blazer all of these are going to be great pieces because there's such great pieces for layering there's just so many possibilities there's such a this look from sports max i thought was just so elegant this is sort of like a long line vest you can see she's got it over at the top of this like all white ensemble it's very like tonal you can see the the vest is like cream colored the rest of it is more close to white I, I love that like duster length vest again such a cool cool layering piece to put on over different outfits and again this is another look that's similar to the first one i talked about from jason Wu. again wearing a longer line sweater vest as your top nothing else underneath it and then wearing either a skirt or like a slip dress underneath the layer it it's just such an easy go-to fall outfit combination loved this look from etro this is definitely much more menswear inspired so you know if you have a menswear style vest in your wardrobe you can start wearing it now just wear it as a shirt with like some wider leg pants perhaps and then as the winter months come in you can wear it over a turtleneck you can wear it over um, a button-up shirt there's just so many different possibilities 
for this piece in your wardrobe. The next trend that is so massive, not even really a trend so much because it's just always something that we talk about in fall and winter, but that is knitwear. Knits are always going to be a part of the fall and winter season, obviously because they're very warm and they're just staple quintessential winter items, right? But this year I feel like they've taken on a new life and instead of just being like a sweater or a top or a cardigan, knits are just like popping up across all types of clothing and wardrobe pieces. All about doing knits from head to toe. So you got that trend last year, you're definitely gonna wanna uh, pull it out again this fall and winter because it's extremely relevant. Some of these knit pieces that I saw coming down the runway were really in awe. This is probably one of my favorite trends this fall. Like this set from Altazora, it's like a knit skirt with an oversized knit sweater on top of it. She looks very comfy, very cozy. And even seeing knit dresses on the runways, like this one from Salvatore Ferragamo, this was such a stunning, stunning dress. That white with the little part around her neck and the off the shoulder and like the softness of the knit, like how it has a sort of fuzzy look to it. The tricky thing about knitwear is when you have, it doesn't really forgive anything, right? It just shows everything. So you have to find the the look that works for you but oh, this ola johnson sweater look at the detail on that like the shoulder with the like larger puffy sleeves all the like cable knit with the little like pom-poms in there and then it's kind of cut like on an asymmetrical line it's got that flowing matching skirt coming out of the bottom of that oh i would die to have that piece it is so stunning the other one that i feel like a lot of people are really talking about is this sort of matching set look from fendi so beautiful and you can tell it's very soft like you would never think of a sweater being a little crop top like that with a skirt but it just works and i love the this like knit set look from Balmain. It's like this metallic cable knit, beautiful, like silver is just stunning. And that's something that you could wear as evening wear, but it's a knit. It's just, it's so creative. The next trend that we must speak about that is carrying over from the last summer and really the last fall too, I believe is cutouts. They're still here in a big way, but I think I want to stress to you that it's not like the cutouts, like what you think. It's not like the cutouts on club dresses where you're basically bearing everything. These think more about just cutouts in very interesting, unique places on your clothing. And it doesn't have to like be like a very skin bearing piece. Like they can just be cutouts in very strategic, places. The one that I really love that I thought was so feminine and beautiful was this dress from Amelia Wickstead. This is almost like she's wearing like a little bralette top with a high-waisted skirt, but it's connected, you know, in the sides you can see and in the back. This look from Stella McCartney is so much fun. I You'd have to be smaller chested to wear this look, but I just love the artistry and the, the shapes that this look creates. Zimmerman had these really cool keyhole cutouts. You don't have to have like crazy slashes and cutouts everywhere. Cutouts in the form of tops like at MSGM, these little tinier, smaller cutouts here. This stunning coat from Christian Siriano. Like, I don't think this would keep you very warm, but but it's really cool, very artistic. David Coma showed a lot of cutouts in all of his pieces and his looks. I love this dress and that beautiful blue, which they call Mykonos blue, will be something we discuss in the next installment of this video. As you can see, just like cutouts can come in all different shapes and forms. They can be huge or they can be just like very, very small slits on the side of your sleeve, like on this Saint Laurent top. Uh, the next sort of little trend that I wanted to sort of talk about is sort of apres ski or ski inspired clothing as streetwear. This is a very interesting trend, I feel like, because it takes form in two main forms. So one way I would say is Fair Isle sweaters. So very like vintage inspired, cozy looking Fair Isle, swe Fair Isle sweaters. Vivian Westwood did this. This is like a super oversized virgin. Tons of these at Rag and Bone. Just have a, they have like a really cozy vibe. Mew like went full on for like the ski look and they did these like sort of puffer ski suit type things just so great because honestly I have a ski suit kind of not like this but the same idea and every season that I've worn it I've had it like two years now every time I wear it I get so many compliments. Mew did this a lot but there was quite a few collections where even the footwear that you were seeing was very chunky and like furry and thick kind of like looking like moon boots a bit kind of like snow boots. Very cozy trend. This is also a great trend for thrifting. I feel like you could find a good really cool vintage Fair Isle sweater in a thrift store or a vintage store. And Chanel had quite a bit, of, a bit of this too. I love this like one piece. I mean I would die to have that to go skiing in. The next trend that we've been seeing for a long time, I, I this isn't really a trend but like we're gonna talk about because it it's sort of ongoing and into fall but cropped things. Cropped jackets, cropped tops, bra tops are still going strong for the fall and winter season believe it or not and like i said with like cropped blazers i think this is just so cool it's a great way to sort of like show off your waist a little bit this gray suit i just love it just looks like they cut off the bottom of that blazer and i love the look of that like menswear but juxtaposed with that crop sort of gives it a little bit more of like a feminine or edgy touch some nails showed quite a bit of these cropped collarless blazers i guess you could call these jackets it was, it's kind of like the classic chanel sort of shape but cropped jackramas always has really cool stuff but like cropped turtleneck worn underneath this little broadlet top i think was just so freaking dope i love jackramas so much they also showed this look which i thought was really cool kind of like that little cropped polo top type of top with suspenders like an overall dress i don't even know but 
very cool and I think this suit set is so cool with the little matching bralette top underneath the blazer and the matching pants this is so beautiful I mean that like satiny very pale blush color it's like awesome sort of matching set from Amelia Wickstead so you're kind of seeing a common theme for the fall reiteration of the cropped uh trend is if you're going to go cropped make sure that like it's more of like a modest top and then um more covered up on the bottom as well so that like the stomach the midriff showing is really the only like big skin that you're showing essentially one of my favorite trends this fall and really any time that it appears is bold bright graphic prints and there was no shortage of them on the runways for the fall season prints are just so interesting i love this one it's just the colors and the the graphic nature of not only the print but these huge like I don't even know what you would call these but you can tell the it's they're kind of like belt buckles but they're not what is the word for that someone know some of the prints I feel like definitely have a 70s aesthetic to them like this dress from Jill Sander I love like all these like sort of cool like tribal type of prints Itro obviously always does that really well I love this sort of take at Ula Johnson you can see like she's got this patterned sort of um tribal print with a very like I want to say almost like a tiger-ish sort of print worn underneath it like two very very bold not subdued prints being worn together but it kind of works because you can see the colors and the tones in each one go with each other so y'all know if you've been subscribed that i love zimmerman it's just one of my favorite brands and they showed so many beautiful prints i mean look at those sleeves ah oh. So here's another knit set from stella mccartney and just like a bunch of really fun interesting like first of all it's a very interesting color combination but i love the sort of cutouts on the side and this bold graphic checkerboard print that looks kind of trippy it looks like one of those optical illusion things that you would look at when you were a kid you'll remember those so. the next trend that i saw that was so huge was metallic metallics in bags metallics in clothes in jackets you name it metallics are huge this fall winter balmain was just doing metallics all over the place i love this like silver metallic pants with like that very subdued looking like looks like a Fur, I hope it's faux fur jacket that she's wearing and also like showed this like gold jumpsuit it looks like it's kind of like a foiled gold oh Dolce & Gabbana also had tons of really crazy really cool metallics if you haven't seen the Dolce & Gabbana show for fall 2021 go check it out it's it's a trip it, they had some really crazy cool stuff but I absolutely love this dress incorporating sort of like a corset look which again talking about past trends that I've mentioned in past seasons corset stuff is still going strong as well so definitely keep rocking all your fun corset stuff it's there's like metallic just like on the inside of her jacket i mean look at that can you see it looks like crinkled foil but I absolutely love this metallic gold trench coat from chanel this is absolutely so stunning not everything metallic was like straight in your face this sort of like shearling jacket from david coma is really beautiful it's like a silver it's metallic and has shine to it but it's not like super crazy it's a little bit more on the muted side the metallic pants i feel like are a great option for you to sort of try this trend out these from alice and olivia were super freaking adorable if you have any metallics or if you're into being loud and bold and shiny definitely jump in on the metallic trend all right so another ongoing trend is the sheer trend this was something that started to be pretty big last fall and i am all in for this trend i've invested in this quite a bit over the last year because i love it so much and i think i sort of said this already in this video but sheer pieces add so much interesting dimension and visual interest to your outfit they really make layering so much fun and you can do so many things with sheer pieces but i think you have to sort of order it on keeping it classy because some of these runway looks they look amazing on the runway in a high fashion setting but then when people wear them in real life because they don't have that high fashion look it, it just ends up looking trashy there's just ways to do it to keep it classy like for instance this versace look this is a sheer dress but you can see she's got like a bodysuit on within the versace printed tights so yes you can see her legs you can see that it's sheer but it's got enough coverage so that it's not like scandalous this is an example of like probably only good for us to appreciate as a look on the runway but i just think it's just so cool i love this look so much it's sheer in like all the right places and then it has more um fullness and more coverage in all the right places as well and so beautiful again sort of like the sequin trend because this is sequins but wearing these sheer things which are a little bit like over the top with things that casualize them like this like um plaid coat and like socks with heels kind of helps to tone down things when they're a little bit more sheer this is another great way to sort of do this trend in a way that's very doable is to wear like a shorter dress and then get like a longer maxi sheer um maybe dress to wear underneath and just have that sheerness you can see your legs but that's really no more skin than you'd reveal if you were just wearing that top part by itself and sheerness with lingerie inspired things is still big this is a trend that has been ongoing for a little while now this christian dior look has to be my favorite in the sheer trend just because i love like the juxtaposition of the like prim and proper buttoned up white shirt um, on top and then you've got sort of like a bodysuit or whatever she's wearing with that sheer tutu on the bottom and the really kind of like punky looking boots this look is so cool i wish i could have this outfit so bad I'm gonna try fringe is another trend 
this fall, but I feel like fringe has definitely been big for the last couple years. And I love that. I love fringe. I love the movement of fringe. I love like just how fun it is. And so with the fringe this year, it's coming in all different styles and shapes. So you've got sort of like the more Western looking fringe, but you also have like flapper looking fringe. You've got fringe in the form of like fringes of sequins. You've got fringe, the forms of like chunky yarn, like things looking like they're coming out of the bottom of sweaters. I mean, it just, there's all different ways to interpret this trend, which is sort of like more of a Western inspired look from Hermes. Omani, this like very like, it looks like a bunch of yarn fringe, but I love the like um, graphic, like striped color combination going on. Fringe capes from Etro that looks just like streamer fringe. Altazora had these really cool, like fringy, feathery looking belts. I'm absolutely just obsessed with this Alberta Ferretti dress. I mean, that is so beautiful. I hope some actress wears this on the red carpet this year because holy wow. Then you got like the very like much more like fine fringe all over her top and pants. I mean, look at how that looks when she's moving. That's why I love fringe, it's the movement that it gives you. Zimmerman had these like palettes looking, almost look like they're palettes cupping off of the dress like how like a graphic fringe looks like little polka dot things like flying off of her dress chloe had these really cool like boho looking fringe bags which just like the yarns are just looking like they're like frayed coming off the bag and then of course like fringe in evening wear is really big that is just such a stunning also incorporating that sheer trend we just talked about and this is just like an all over fringe dress so really like fringe was you can interpret that it can be on bags it can be on shoes it could be on your jacket your shirt your pants your skirt, literally anything that has fringe, rock it. The last trend that I want to talk about is trends that I noticed in outerwear. So we saw, I think, three major outerwear trends. The first one that we want to talk about is puffer coats. Puffer coats have been really coming on strong the last couple winters, and they are still such a big thing. And I think it's just because the utility of a puffer coat is just so practical, especially for people who live in very cold places. Coats are coming in all kinds of shapes and sizes and colors and prints. Like, it's not your basic boring black puffer. Like another one that I saw that I think is interesting is ponchos and capes. So capes, again, I feel like was introduced a lot in the last year, maybe the year before, but I feel like I got really excited about capes last year, but it didn't really seem to like catch on in like mainstream fashion. Like I didn't really see very many people actually wearing capes last year. And I really hope this year people do because I have one and I love it. Another outerwear trend that I'm really happy to see making its comeback is a leopard coat. Leopard coats are, I love them. I think they're so much fun. They are such a fun topper to any outfit. Obviously they have a lot of graphic visual interest. And I think when you wear it with like, even if it's like a super basic outfit, it can make a basic outfit look super fun. And it can also look so cool if you pair it with the right colors and the right prints as well to play off of each other. The main thing is designers really had a lot of fun overall. There's a lot of bright colors, a lot of fun prints, a lot of fun, crazy silhouettes. We're coming out of the like terrible lockdown year of 2020 and designers are recognizing that. I think people are starting to have places to go and they want to dress up. They want to like up their fashion game. They're tired of wearing like boring matching sweatpants sets and things like we want to get dressed up again. And designers are definitely taking note of that. And that is the direction that fashion is going this season. And I'm so, so excited. Now that we've talked about everything, I'm going to go in my closet and I'm going to try and style as many of these trends as I can for you. So let's roll tape on what I came up with. information on what to look out for this year comment down below and let me know if you think i missed a trend or what your favorite trend is what your least favorite trend is i definitely am collecting a list of things of trends that i will not be wearing um, so let me know down below if you want to see that video and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be fun or informative please subscribe if you are not already subscribed while you're here definitely go ahead and check out a couple more videos that i've picked out for you over here i know you will love them thanks so much for sticking around this long i will see you all on my next video
Bye.